The story of load handling. Let me give you a few brief stories. In Finland, Mikko Tadho and his two brothers Mauno and Matti make a living transporting lumber with a GMC truck. Work is heavy and time-consuming. And in Ireland, Cecil Moffitt decides to establish a business to make special purpose equipment for farmers. The company is called Moffitt Engineering. Around the same time, a Swedish ski manufacturer, Erik Sundin, struggles to get the timber from the woods into his ski factory. He finds a way to transfer the power of a truck engine to a lifting movement of a crane and establishes a new enterprise, Hydrolyska Industria Arbia. Isn't it interesting how specific needs push progress? Take, for example, the Finnish Tadho brothers. Their frustration with an inefficient way of working led them to invent the first mechanical cable-operated interchangeable platform loader. They then go into business, which later will become Multilift. And in Ireland, the work of the local farmers is made easier when a Mr. Moffitt innovation helps them bind their hay. When the binder is joined by another invention, making harvesting potatoes easier, people cheer. The desire to be more productive is the same all over. In Sweden, Knut Nilsson buys a company quite similar to Moffitt Engineering. He then begins experimenting with a new thing that he believes will revolutionize load handling. The tail lift. Timber handling is another area which needs to be made efficient. When the first Jonsered log loader is produced, it's most welcome, as is the first Fiskas crane, later to be known as a log lift. In the late 60s, truck owners shout with joy when a new foldable loader crane makes room for larger payloads. It's called the Napoleon boom because it can be tucked away. To be able to make even larger payloads, it's necessary to reduce loader crane weight. But no one is interested if this also means refraining from capacity. When the boom is made hexagonal, it becomes both sturdy and light. Needless to say, this is a great innovation soon copied by eager followers. Around this time, Hydrolyska Industria Arbia decides to start using the elephant logo type and the company abbreviation HIAB on all products. Today, both are well known and equally well respected. Do you remember the year when Ronald Reagan meets Mikhail Gorbachev for an extremely short talk in Reykjavik? The same year Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson marry. That's not important though. What is important is that the same year deliveries are made faster and more cost effective than ever thanks to the first truck mounted forklift, the Moffitt Mountie. Easily carried on almost any truck or trailer and without the loss of load space. And great load handling ideas keep coming, like that of boosting operational performance and improving safety in loader cranes using electronics. The technology is by no means trivial. To be the pioneer isn't always a stroll in the park. We have a history to be proud of and a future to look forward to.